What's up guys? We're opening up a box of Cyberstorm Access. Dan's around the store, so be careful. You never know what he's gonna say. Dan might be doing some voiceovers with us soon. Wanna add some spice to the channel. He's been wanting, he's been begging us for it. Today is like the OTS release of the set, so I just thought, why not open up a box, whatever. I already got my Quem and my Lulu, but you know, a Starlight Quem would be pretty nice. So just let me know in the comment section what you guys want to be pulling of this yourself. We say a Teller Knight trash card. Actually, this deck can now, uh, can now actually play Shifter, which is pretty disgusting considering the fact that how good Shifter is. And then we see a Wakashi, a good card. I actually love this card still. The art of this card is so nice. And the deck is just so good itself. Yeah, it's, 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 it's literally the new Magnum. We see the reincarnation of the seven stars or seven emperors. This card's pretty cool. And we see the Chaos Angel right off the bat. We pulled the best secret rare in the set. This is the card that uh, I was looking for too, so crazy. Actually, I love this card. This card's nuts. It's the Zeus of this set. The set is literally uh, Rira. Like Thomas says, Lily Rira. We see the Julia, not so cool. The set hasn't really, really fully dropped and I'm already excited for the next set, Dune. Dune is absolutely crazy. I wish we got the dark little card in this set. I, would, I love that card. Here we're going to be seeing a Libermancer origin story for a second ultra rare. Very nice card. And we see the S Force Nice Chaser. Not a bad card. I know it's like a Link One, which is pretty nice for S Force. Other than that, I don't really know what they do. We see the Time Terror Morganite. I have a secret spice deck with this soon. So uh, stay tuned for this. And we have a Wish Dragon. I wish this card is good. It's a level two and it summons up two tokens. But they're level one tokens, so they're not great. We see a Madium or Manadium Abyssian, which is a nice card. I'm actually wanting to see some Makonko stuff as well. And we see the Teller Knight, another Teller Knight. That is half of the box already. Huge! I know, right? Crazy cool, crazy cool. Starlight though. We see the Shrub. If I pull a Starlight, video's ending. Oh, sure. If you pull one, yeah, sure. Yeah, video is ending. I'll sell you the channel then. <laughs> we see a Votus. And then we see the Peaceful Planet Caladium. Actually, that's kind of crazy. There's no way we pulled the best two secret rares in the, uh, I guess the highest secret rares in the box. That's kind of huge. We can pull a Numeria. We still have two more Ultra Rares as well, which is pretty crazy. Another Coolia. Why can't we get no doubles of the big cards? Firewall Defender, crazy card. I actually needed another one of these, so look, there we go. Teller Knight once again. So one more Ultra left. We have the Commander. I wish this card was good. Yeah, go ahead. 
I think it's taking it. Looks, we have a wannabe. This is our first one, actually, out of two boxes. That card's insane. I know, actually, I like this card a lot. Only thing is, if it was level four, it'd be cracked. It's good in Dinomorphia, okay. Well, nothing's good in Labyrinth. The deck's just bad. We have two last cards. Two last packs here. We see a B Trooper. And so now we have one more Ultra Rare out of this. Unless we got... And we got Numbers Avail. You know, the number, if Rongo Bongo ever came back, I think that the game would be kind of over. A pretty nice, we see the two best secret rares of the set. I hope you guys enjoyed, and these are the ultra rares if you guys want to see it. Uh, very nice. I'm really glad on the Defender I needed this card. But uh, hope you guys enjoy it, and stay tuned for some time-tearing Morganism.